Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in today's one of the tutorial on NLP with JavaScript, trying to see how to work with a different package. So initially, we work with Compromise JS, but in this particular tutorial, we're going to work in with Natural. So in case you have not checked this one, you can check it. It's to be in the play playlist. It's perfect. So now let's see how to work with Natural. So Natural is a very powerful package. So if you don't have it, you can just go straight away with npm install Natural to have it global, right, in your system. Perfect. So I can turn on this now. Let's see how to work with it. So first of all, you need to import it. So, so in import it, we just we be using the normal one. So var natural, then require, then go to require. So this is the name of the package. So natural, perfect. So now we have access to this particular package. So what are some of the things we can also do with this particular package? So first of all, let's check on token. So what is tokenization? So tokenization is an act of breaking a sentence or a phrase or a test into an array of tokens or array of words that is how you want to understand language so i'm just going to create our tokenizer and then this tokenizer is going to be new natural so this new natural is coming from here right to be able to work with it then when i go with dot be able to see all the properties all the, all the things you can do with this particular package here okay so let's go with the word tokenizer so we've seen how to work with some of these then we have already initialized. Now let's see how to work with it. So I'm going to go with console.log. Then here I'm going to go with tokenizer.tokenize. Right? Don't mistake it. Tokenizer.tokenize. This is what we really to work. So I'm going to pass in my sentence, which is this. So I like working with Java, JavaScript, Julia, Python, Go, and then let's add C. Right? C, of course. <laughs> okay. So these are the these are very powerful languages. Okay, so, so that's what we have right now. So now let's see how to analyze it. I just go to my terminal, then load, then the name of my file. Perfect. So it has been able to analyze it perfectly for us. So according to analysis, we had all these tokens that we had, right? So I like working with Java, JavaScript, Julia, Go, and then C, right? This is how it was able to analyze. So that's one of the ways of breaking a particular sentence into tokens so this is how it's working with to work in a normal simple way that is without let's say without this particular package there's, there's another way of working with it that is this format so console.log right and then let's store our particular way let's store our test into something so let's call it as bar example then this is going to be a test that we have, right? This is a test that we have. This is a normal, basic way to work with, to break stuff. Then console.log. Then we have our example, dot split. We are splitting that particular word. Then we're going to split it on empty, right? So let me comment this one out. And let's see what it's going to give to us. Perfect. See that almost the same, but it was not that intuitive. It was not that intuitive, right? To be able to separate this particular stuff. So that is the difference between this and then the previous one that we had, which was perfectly well. So this is just normal JavaScript. But with the tokenizer, it's able to see the difference very well. Okay. So now let's see some other stuff you can also do. Bring this one down. So let's see how to work with regex, right? To work with regular expression, I'm going to call that regex. Let's call it reg tokenizer. Right, and I'm going to do the same thing. Natural dot reg. That, that is the different tokenizer we are trying to use. So with this particular stuff, we, then we need to be able to supply the particular pattern that you want to use. Right, so the pattern is going to be pattern. Then we're going to supply the particular pattern that you are using. So it's going to be like this. Backslash, right? And then this. This is what we are trying to work with. Perfect. So that's what you are trying to do. So this is a pattern. So you put your pattern here. So whatever pattern, if you want plus, you can just put it here. If you want minus, you can put it here. So let's go with console.log. So to work with, just go with the regex. 
recognizer dot tokenize just like we did in the previous place then you pass into your test so that is how to work with it so let's save it and then let's run it if you see, see how it was able to analyze it it's breaking them based on this particular pattern that we are giving all right so this one can be used in case you have telephone numbers and you want to break them based on the telephone, telephone numbers so it's not just breaking them based on the on an anything except alpha right just like in this one the way to connect is breaking it on anything except alpha but this is breaking it on the pattern you have given which is this 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 here okay so that is how to work with this particular package so there are several things you can also do even as we check from here we realize that we can also do new natural dot point like word point to neither tree band to neither and all of these particular stuff so we can also work on all these things then it's still going to work perfectly the difference between this one let's give it an example let's use this one right so you see the example difference between this and another Sorry for the size. Okay, the difference between this one that we had here and then another one that we have, which is the tree bank, is that the tree bank is using something different. So tree bank tokenizer, and then you're going to use the tree bank on that particular same stuff. So let's call this as tree, right? And then this is going to be as tree. So this one goes up this okay so now let's run it and see if i run it here see a difference so if you check from here the difference is that the first one this one is the normal tokenizer right it's breaking them i i like all of these things blah 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 so it's breaking them i I blah 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 right but this one was able to break them even to the point that even the end is also added right you can see that the end is added here and then even the C is added like it's breaking them perfectly well not just breaking them normal so that is the difference between the tree bank and then the normal word word tokenizer okay so in case depending on the work you are using that is when I'm going to use the particular kind of tokenizer so thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit and please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.